Welcome to Caddy Quick Clips, your quick guide to successful drawing and modelling with Caddy. There are times when we're modelling that we might wish to add detail to the tops of our walls, for instance, such as a coping, as we have here with our wall that projects through the level of the roof to give us an element of water tabling. It could be an instance like this, or it could be something as simple as a coping to the top of a wall, or even around a bay. The objects we're going to use to create our copings are structural members and these give us the options for materials and even projections beyond the ends of the walls which we can simply change by typing in our figures and we see the, the end of the wall project at the end of the coping projecting further beyond the end of the wall. So how do we create a coping profile and then how do we add these objects? these copings to the tops of our walls. Well to create our structural member styles we're going to use a polyline as we see here and dependent upon whether we're running around the top of a wall as in the bay instance where we would use this one at the top or if we're using uh, an inclined coping say to run up a gable as we had with the first illustration on the house then we would put our polyline in a different orientation in order to get it to run correctly along the edge of the wall. And here we see the way in which the original AC structural member styles created from the polyline are then effectively rotated through 90 degrees and then extruded along the length of the wall. So the first step is to create our polyline. This we can do by selecting lines and P-line and creating a simple closed polyline or if we choose uh, if it's easier we can use the construction lines and here I'm just projecting the construction lines or you could use offsets and simply choosing P line and tracing over the outline here I've left the polyline that I'm tracing underneath just as an illustration and I'm pressing the X key down so it's that I can choose an arc segment and then a right click to close. Having created our polyline, we simply select it, right click, and go to the AEC tools that we see on the context sensitive menu. And here we're going to choose make structural member style. Ask us for a name. So here we'll say coping one. Okay that, and we'll give it an origin so it can snap to the bottom left hand corner for instance. And it asks us whether we we would like to create a structural member using the, the structural member style that we've just created. If we say yes, we'll be taken to the dialog, which allows us to choose how we want to place it down. But before we get to that stage, let's take a, a look at a couple of other things so we can get ourselves ready to, to place our object. Let's imagine we have our walls that we would like it to apply the coping to. To help us set out where we need the coping, we're going to use the UCS. So I'm just going to, so on the snap, I'm just going to toggle the, the grid on. We now have our, our grid, which we'll be able to snap to, but it also allows us to, to visualize where the UCS is placed at any one time. Going to the 3D tools, I'll use the UCS, and I'm now going to offset, and I can pick the top of my wall. Ensuring that I'm set to 3D, so that now sets my UCS to the top of the wall. Back to my caddy tools, I'm going to create a polyline, another P line, and here I'm going to choose midpoint snap. And using midpoint snap again, here you can set your auto snap to do the same thing, and we'll option end to that. So we now have a polyline sitting and the center of the wall. Now going to our AEC tools, we can come down to the structural members. We'll set our member type to beam so that the structural members will trim nicely when we use the polyline and using the origin there at the base. We're using our style, coping one, the one we've just produced. Okay to that. And we can now just indicate our polyline and our coping is there at the top of our wall. If we select, so just pressing escape there, we can simply pull out the coping if we need an extension. We could use the start and end offsets to produce 
a very specific dimension for us. Notice I'm using minus for one end and plus for the other. So here we can apply the same technique for a wall which goes around a corner or two, uh, could be a bay for instance. We can firstly raise our UCS from the world situation by choosing pick and again ensuring that we're in 3D mode so that we can jump onto the top of the wall there. We'll then go back to our caddy tools, draw a simple 2D polyline and I'm using auto snap here so I can snap to the centers of the walls. Uh, if we need to snap midway between we can use our other snap modes there, we've got midway between two points and then back to the, the middle at the end there. Option end will give us a simple closed polyline. Back to our AEC tools, we can choose our structural members and again we're using the coping from a polyline we produce the coping at the top of the wall. The finish on the wall, that's a hatch which is associated with the material style that's being used. So if we select that, you'll we'll see we have, in this case, standard. So it's just a question of changing your material definition to give you the hatching style that you, you choose for your coping. We can also extend the coping again. So in one direction, extending it with a minus and in the other direction because we're at the start and the ends of the wall. A tip worth knowing is that polylines are directional so if we have an instance where we want the coping running in the other direction and here we have the the rake of the, the coping running to the outer edge of the wall if you wanted the coping to run the other way then we could simply reverse the direction of the polyline and then apply the coping to that. So here, for instance, we could simply select our coping and delete that one. We have our polyline here, which we can select, right click to modify, reverse direction, and then simply apply our coping to the polyline that runs in the reverse direction. Selecting structural member with our coping to polyline. OK, indicate our new polyline, and there we are. Returning to our structural member tool, we'll see that we can use columns and braces. Columns giving us a vertical column, uh, beams intended for use on the UCS, uh, or braces which are diagonal members. We can, however, still use the beam in order to give us the polyline. So if we change there to beam, let's see we get the polyline option rather than just points. We can use that providing we change the orientation of our polyline before we create it as a structural member style. So let's have a look at our polyline. We'll again, right click on it, go to the AEC tools, make a structural member style, and we'll call this coping gable. And OK that, and indicate our origin. So here we'll choose the center. And in this case, I'm not going to create it immediately because I want to e explore where we're going to put the structural member before we do so. Just returning to our model, let's have a look at how we can get to the stage where we're ready to put the coping at the top of the wall. Firstly, we need to pull back the roof from the edge of the building. So if we select our roof, right click, we go to slab and modify edges. We'll see that we can select our edges as indicated by the variation in the line color there. And I'm just going to pull it back the dimension that I wish. So that will pull it back inside. We can press escape. We can select the other roof, the other roof slab, go to slab, modify edges. And we'll just choose the slab edge that we wish to modify and we'll pull that one back similarly. Okay to that and we'll see that pulls back our roof. We can now select our wall and here we have a base height of 1500 so if I wanted to add 500 millimeters to that 2000 that now projects through our roof. To make it easier to see let's simplify our model so we'll select our wall right click and layering and display and display only, display only the selected object. So here we have our wall. 
what we can now do is choose our 3D UCS tools and we see our axis here. What we want is our UCS running in the direction of Y, so along the length of the wall there, and we'll have it at the centre. So we'll choose UCS Y and ensuring that we're on 3D mode here, I'm just going to select Auto Snap and then we'll choose the center of our wall. So there we are, we have our, our center and I can turn the grid on so we can have a look at that in more detail so we can actually see the the grid passing through the center of our wall. We can now simply draw on a polyline using caddy line tool, so P line, now choosing 2D because we want to snap onto that UCS so snapping to the corners of our, our wall there and you'll see that the polyline is now at the centre of the wall and here I'm going to choose my structural member from a polyline using the coping gable OK to that indicate my polyline and there is my coping and again just pressing escape there we can go and modify this so at the start we can give a, a minus figure if we wish to extend it and a plus figure to the other end. So that's a very quick and easy way of producing copings to the tops of our walls. You can find more information on Caddy on our website www.caddysoftware.com and check out the Caddy Software channel on YouTube for more tips and tricks on using Caddy.